Hello YouTube. As everybody know, today is a 14 year anniversary of Tishniak massacre. So please I ask everybody to stand up. And we will make 10 minute silence. Ten, ten minute silence. Please, no noise, we start again. Thank you. Uh, my mistake. Uh, ten, uh, ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Uh, ten more seconds for respect. Thank you. Uh, in this video, I'd like to get to build total XP. Wow, wow, we wow. But not only, I would also like to talk about some different topics. Maybe let's start from uh, run energy changes that are incoming to RuneScape. I haven't really tested it, but as far as I know, the drain rate is going to be decreased at a lower weight and it is going to be increased when you wait more. And I believe that community is not going to accept the fact that uh, the drain rate is increased when you wait more, especially for some PBM content like raids and other stuff. I also saw a lot of uh, negative comments from IMN community. They don't like it because, especially free to play IMN, because uh, I, as far as I know, they are not able to create energy potions. So basically they should not focus on any skill that requires run energy now. You know that I like easy escape, so for me, perfect scenario would be unlimited run energy, <laughs> but I know that it's not going to happen. I have plans to do a lot of prayer with mining in the future, so of course, this kind of change would be would be amazing for me. I, uh, I mean, because I deliver vile ashes on my alternative account, so yeah, so I would it'd be a bit more relaxing for me. Because I would I would not be like it wouldn't be necessary to focus on run energy nonstop if the drain rate was lower. I cannot wait for some comments like oh, why this guy is playing all screen escape, you should stay in RS3 if you want some changes. But you know this game is changing nonstop. We have updates every Wednesday. So we just have to get used to it. It's not the it is not the original 2007 RuneScape, it's a completely different game. Next, I wanted to talk about a disaster, or in other words, anti-cheating team from Jagex. <laughs> uh, yeah, so actually one of the top free-to-play players got permanently banned like three weeks ago and he got up unbanned today. Wow, 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 wow. It took them three weeks to unban him and like I m messaged him on Twitter, like he tagged so many JMARs, he got like automatic, uh, uh, let's say, review from them. No one checked it, of course. It's insane. Uh, I, I still have in my mind how I got permanently banned in 2013, and it took them 40 days to unban me. So yeah, welcome back, Freckle Dad, to 
unbanned people again. I hope you don't get permanently banned again. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, here is my Bardo2229 account. I logged into it on the RuneScape site and uh, here's my history of macroing gold farmer from 2013. Uh, I still remember how annoying that was. I had to wait over 40 days to get unbanned. It was before Twitter era, but uh, I remember messaging them, I mean sending emails to them literally every day and nothing, yeah? So I think we have like we have 11 years later and still the same problem. At least they changed one thing though, because back then I was already maxed on my free-to-play account and the Jagex decided to give two weeks of membership as an apology. I, 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 I think they don't do it anymore, at least. But we also have to keep in mind the fact that so many players, probably, that have never cheated, they remain permanently banned. For example, one guy from free-to-play community, Kaka Pupu. 91 he got permanent permanently banned like half a year ago and still nothing he didn't get any response from jagex also amazing that they will not tell you what did you get banned for <laughs> they say that they do it to keep their systems uh, like secured and they don't want to give the information blah 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 of course it's all bullshit they, in reality it's an automatic system that they don't really understand why it, how it works <laughs> and yeah so they have no information also why some people get banned and that's how it is okay i also wanted to show you my p2p account i know this account looks like some bot or something but there's only one point of this account to make money and that's it yeah, i got to animal range i also have a video from it i can and i can show you it now So if you are extremely lazy like me and you don't want to click a lot, you should do this method if you want to earn some money. It's not good. I think it's like 800k per hour if you do it the way I do. So here's the gear I use. I use this Venato bow. I have to charge it. Then I also have uh, like the best range slot like Mazori and I have some items that give me some prayer bonus like this dragon bow necklace, like uh, these boots, also this ring. Yes, yeah, so in total I have 29 prayer bonus. So 29 prayer bonus allows me to AFK, AFK here for so so long. Uh, I bring three uh, ranging potions, the rest is uh, the rest are prayer potions. I can get like 130k ranged XP per hour here as far as I know. So also if you want to get some solid range XP you should do it. And then you have basically over 5 minutes AFK. And you can enjoy this method. Also, due to the change of prayer, now Sharp uh, Eye does not consume a lot of uh, prayer points. And I also have Preserve, so my boost can last longer, and of course, uh, Protect from uh, melee. Uh, and yeah, this is really, really cool. To be honest, uh, I don't even have to do this method. I think I have enough money to afford. Uh, all to animal skills on my free to play account but you never know uh, maybe there will add some new rune crafting method that will cost a lot uh, and uh, will be very very fast then having more money can be can be a good option yeah uh, also a few days ago I got my stale baguette wow we I didn't really care to get it before but uh, since they made it possible to get a lamp from Quiz Master, I decided to do this random event sometimes. And there we go!
Alright, alright, one big bone to go. 15 XP left. Okay, okay. So it's time to get Tubal. And boom! Tubal total XP! Wow, 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 wow! Only one build to go. Unlucky, I'm running out of easy skills. <laughs> Probably fire making is going to be next to animal and then I don't know. Okay, take care everyone for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.